Michigan GOP heads to its state convention starting tomorrow, but mired in allegations of corruption. Pitt's current chair, Laura Cox, against the former ambassador, Ronald Weiser, who she's accusing of paying $200,000 to a 2018 candidate to drop out of a political race. Mara McDonald live downtown. It's a serious claim that uh, one, I guess, that could lead to an investigation, Mara. I think it absolutely is going to go to the Michigan Secretary of State for investigation, Devin, into whether campaign finance laws have been broken here and then potentially onto the AG. $200,000 uh, for six months' work of a part time job is absolutely unbelievable. Current Michigan GOP Chair Laura Cox doing a live town hall tonight, answering questions from her GOP constituents about the drama engulfing the party. Cox, days before the state convention, dropping the news that former Michigan GOP chair Ron Weiser, who is currently running again for the spot, paid out $200,000 in Michigan GOP funds to Shelby Township clerk Stan Grott in 2018. Now, Weiser and Grott say it was for work recruiting delegates. Cox makes it clear she believes it was to pay Grott off so he would drop out of the 2018 Michigan Secretary of State race. Grott was poised to win the nomination at convention that year, but it was no secret a good portion of the party wanted a woman on the ticket. Grott suddenly dropped out and Mary Treader Lang became the nominee, who then lost to Jocelyn Benson. It is undisputed that these payments began three days after Stan dropped out of the Secretary of State's race and just four days before the state convention, the nominating convention in 2018. The scenario Cox is painting here is a violation of campaign finance laws. Weiser has put out a statement which in part reads, Laura Cox's baseless allegations are a desperate attempt to smear my name based on a long-standing political grudge and her inability to hold on to the job of party chair that she couldn't keep on her own merits. Before all this blew up, Cox had dropped out of the race. Weiser was going to cruise to victory this weekend at the state convention. Now Cox Cox says she's back in the race, but not because she wants the job. She says if she's elected, she'll resign immediately, allowing the new state committee to then appoint a new chair. I don't want this job anymore. I don't want to be the chair, but I'm not going to stand silently. Back here live, I reached out to Stan Grot tonight. His comment to me via text was, Laura Cox is just desperate to keep her job. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local 4. It'll be something to watch over the weekend. All right, Mara.